What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you guys three different methods to store your belts. I'm going to go show you guys how to do each method, uh, go over the benefits of each method, because I know sometimes depending on how many articles of clothing you own and how much space you guys have to store your clothing in, sometimes that can be a little, um, a little hard. Now before we jump into the three different ways to store your belts, Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below and ring that bell, it don't hurt either. Now, let's jump into how to store your belts. And before we jump in, before I show you guys how to store your belts or the ways to show your belts, don't forget to check out my previous video. The contest is running actually until tonight, late tonight. It's a, um, it's my 100 subscriber giveaway. I'm giving away three packs of these uh, boot care wipes to clean up your cowboy boots is a thank you to you guys for um, subscribing and coming back and watching my channel okay so the first method to store your belts and this is actually an old belt that I um have it's just your uh, traditional uh, buckle belt get it unrolled here it's actually rolling it up like I just had it I'm gonna show you how to do this this is gonna be a good method if you guys like to stack them on a shelf or if you like to store them in a drawer so what you do is you take this end and you can tell this is pretty <laughs> pretty beat up this is a um i don't remember what brand this actually is it doesn't say on the belt here we go nakona uh nakona belt so to roll your belts all you want to do is you don't want to if you're storing them in a on a shelf or in your um drawer you usually don't want to just roll them up like this just because if that leather's real thick or has a good backbone to it, it's going to end up expanding over uh, after a few seconds. So to roll your belts, all you're going to want to do is take this end of the belt, thread it through the buckle, and pull it up. Now, you don't want to pull it tight yet. You want to leave it loose. And make sure your little, um, this part is, I don't remember what that's called right now. You make sure it's uh, inside the leather. You don't want it sticking out. So leave it loose. Do that again. And just continue to do this. You're going to get a little bit tighter as you go along until the belt runs out of room. And it looks like I'm about out of room with that. So you'll thread it through again. And once you're finished, you want to pull it tight. I might even be able to do one more. Nope. So you'll want to pull it tight on that. Now this will kind of stick a little bit, but that's okay. And then it'll just fit, fit real nicely in a drawer or on a shelf. Now the second method, if you guys actually like to hang up your belts in your closet, is actually going to be a belt hanger. Now they have a couple different varieties. Sometimes the company that you buy your belts from, they'll have their own special hanger. Like I wear Anson belts, usually. So they actually have their own special hanger. But you can also find cheap ones for normal belts like this. They're usually shaped like hooks. And they'll just slide on, the buckle will just fit on the hook. But for the Anson belts, they actually have a special hanger. Because the Anson belts actually run on a, let me get it adjusted here, track system. And all you do is you get the belt hanger. And it actually, for this one actually, it uh just slides on and the slots for the belts latch onto the track then whenever you want to wear your belt just use that lever and it comes right off now i feature i had shown the anson belts in my um favorite outfit uh to wear with cowboy boots video so if you guys want to check that out i'll link it in the description below the cool part about anson belts and i'm going to talk about them for a minute here is um you can actually get a bunch of different straps. I have black leather. They have brown. Um, I don't know if they have a black cherry, but they also have a bunch of different nylon straps too. And you have a bunch of different belts to choose, belt buckles to choose from. Gold, silver, um, black, rose gold. And um, I think they have a couple of other options also. There's like over 15 different belts, uh, belt straps and 15 different belt buckles. You just mix and match what you want. And it just pops off for the buckle so you can interchange them pretty easily. And the strap is actually one long piece whenever you get it. 
you just cut it down to the length that you need. If you do decide to get these though, make sure you don't cut the end with the track on it. Cut the opposite end. Then whenever it's at the length that you need, take your buckle. This one is their um, matte silver, I believe. And then it just pops right back on there. And no, they did not pay me to uh, feature them in this video. I just like the belts. So a belt hanger is your second option for that. Now, your third and final option for storing your belts, and this will actually work for any belts with buckles on them and any just normal belt, is actually going to be rolling them up and storing them inside your boots or your shoes. And this method is good for if you don't have a lot of space or if you wear a variety. I don't personally, but this is my preferred method. If you wear a variety of um, different leathers or different shoes, that way you can keep whatever belt goes with that pair of shoes with that pair of shoes. Whenever you grab your shoes or boots, you're grabbing your belt also. So you would just roll it up like you would typically think you would roll a belt. You can also do it this method also. So it's rolled up and it's not as important to do, you can just roll it, it's not as important to do it this way because the shoe actually, or boot actually keeps it together. And then just store it down inside the pair that it goes with. That way everything's together for you. It's the uh, probably most organized way to do this and the most um, space saving way to store your belts. So that wraps things up for you. I hope this um, video helped you guys determine the best method to uh, store your belts, whether it's rolling them, storing them in your shoes, or hanging them up in your closet. Do whatever way works best for you. Experiment with all three different ways. See what, um, what you like the best. Like I said, personally, I prefer storing them in my boots. It saves me space, and it also um, keeps my belt and my boots together. So I can just grab the shoes and I'm grabbing my belt also. So it saves me like an extra two seconds. But um, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my previous video on find out how to enter my um, boot wipe giveaway contest. That contest does end tonight. I'll end it probably closer to midnight. That way as many of you guys have as good of a chance to uh, enter as possible. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day.